your game still lagging even with a good graphics card? Your CPU might be the reason. In this video, I'll show you how to fix CPU bottlenecks and make your GPU work at full power. Let's boost your FPS and make your game smoother. What's to with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar and typing Registry Editor. When it appears, right click on it and choose run as administrator so you have full control to make important system changes. Once the registry editor opens, you'll see a navigation bar at the top. Simply copy the first registry path from the video description and paste it into that bar. Then press enter and instantly move to the correct folder without digging around manually. Now that you're in the right place, we'll tweak a few values that can help reduce CPU strain and let your GPU perform at its full potential. First, look for a value named GPU Priority. Double click on it and set the value to 8. This increases how much importance Windows gives to your graphics card tasks, especially helpful when you're gaming or editing. Next, find the entry called Priority and change it to 6. This step tells Windows to treat your games or active software as more important than background stuff, improving smoothness and reducing random stutters. Then scroll to locate scheduling category, double click and change its value to high. This setting helps your system better organize how it handles graphic related tasks, making everything feel more responsive, especially during intense gameplay moments. Lastly, adjust SFIO priority to high as well. This one helps speed up how fast your CPU and GPU share data with other system components, helping eliminate delays and boosting your overall frame timing, a great tweak if you're trying to eliminate bottlenecks and unlock better GPU headroom. Now, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to launch the Run dialog box. In the field that appears, type gpedit.msc and hit Enter. This command will open the Local Group Policy Editor a powerful tool for customizing how Windows handles system level behavior. Once you're inside, navigate through the following path, Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System. Scroll down and locate the folder named Power Management. Click to expand it and then select the Power Throttling Settings option. On the right side, you'll find a setting titled Turn Off Power Throttling. Double click on it to open its configuration window. Now select Enabled, which will turn off this feature entirely. After that, hit Apply and then OK to confirm the change. By disabling power throttling, you're allowing your CPU to operate without being restricted by energy saving policies. This small tweak makes a huge difference. Your processor will no longer be limited in performance, allowing it to keep up with your GPU during heavy tasks, which directly helps reduce CPU bottlenecks and unlock better GPU utilization during games or intensive applications. Alright guys, now it's time to grab the CPU and GPU performance boost pack I've prepared for you. Just head over to my official website, uptopacks.com. Once you're on the homepage, go to the FPS boost category. Look for the post with the same title and thumbnail as this video. There you'll find a direct download link. First, we're going to use one of the most effective tools available for unlocking your CPU's real performance, Park Control. This utility is popular among advanced users because it removes power-saving restrictions that often hold your processor back during gaming. By disabling features like core parking, Park Control allows your CPU to run all cores at full strength, reducing latency, improving response time, and boosting FPS in CPU-heavy games. Once you launch the tool, select the Bitsum Highest Performance Power Plan from the drop-down menu. This preset is optimized to keep your processor running at full power at all times. Next, set both Parking AC and Parking DC to 100% and mark them as disabled. This disables core parking entirely, so none of your CPU cores are left idle while gaming. It helps eliminate sudden frame drops and input lag. Now enable the Dynamic Boost feature. This keeps all threads and cores actively working when needed, ensuring stable and high performance during multitasking or demanding games. You can also enable the Show Power Plan Change notifications if you want to get alerts when your power plan changes. This step is optional and won't affect performance. Next, click the Power Options button inside Park Control to confirm your settings. 
Make sure Bitsum Highest Performance is selected. Then click Change Plan Settings and go to Change Advanced Power Settings. In the new window, expand PCI Express and under Link State Power Management, set it to off. This disables GPU-related power saving which can cause input delay or lag under heavy GPU load. Now expand the Processor Power Management section. Set both the minimum and maximum processor state to 100%. This ensures your CPU won't underclock or throttle during gameplay, keeping performance steady. Once that's done, click Make Active and then Apply to save the changes. Inside Park Control, you'll notice green activity bars. These indicate how active your CPU cores are. While gaming or editing, the bars will stay lit, showing that all cores are fully engaged. When your system is idle, it's normal for some bars to dim. Finally, click OK to save your settings. Park Control will now start automatically every time you boot your PC, ensuring your CPU remains fully optimized without needing to reapply changes. Now go back to the folder you downloaded earlier and open the one named CPU Optimization. Inside, you'll see multiple files. Each file is designed to fine-tune a specific aspect of your processor's behavior. It's important to install each of them one by one without skipping any. These tweaks are built to improve your CPU's responsiveness, leading to smoother multitasking and more consistent performance during heavy gaming or productivity tasks. Once that's complete, open the folder labeled CPU Priority. Inside, you'll find two subfolders, one for Intel and the other for AMD. Choose the one that matches your processor. If you're using an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and run the included optimization file. If you're on AMD, open the AMD folder and apply the corresponding tweak designed for AMD architecture. Using the correct file for your CPU type ensures that Windows prioritizes your games and performance-heavy tasks correctly. This helps reduce micro-stutters, improve frame pacing, and eliminate CPU bottlenecks resulting in a much smoother experience overall. Now, to optimize your GPU for gaming, launch the MSI Mode Utility. Go to the folder where the tool is saved, right-click the executable file and select Run as Administrator. If you get a user account control prompt from Windows, click Yes. This is required because the tool makes changes at the system level and needs full administrative access. Once the tool is open, you'll see a complete list of your hardware devices. Focus on your graphics card, which is usually listed under the Display Adapter section. This is where we'll apply two key tweaks to improve how your GPU handles gaming workloads. Enable MSI Mode, also known as Message Signal Interrupts. Switching your GPU to MSI Mode allows it to communicate with the CPU using a faster and more efficient system, replacing the outdated interrupt method. This lowers latency and results in a smoother, more responsive gaming experience. Next, set the interrupt priority for your GPU to high. This tells Windows to prioritize GPU-related tasks over lower priority background processes. By doing this, you reduce in-game stutters, improve frame pacing, and allow your GPU to perform more consistently, especially during intense gameplay moments. After applying both of these changes, click Apply to save your settings. These tweaks ensure your GPU stays sharp and responsive, giving you the performance boost you need right when it matters most, during gaming. Now, open the folder named GPU Registry Tweaks. Inside, you'll find a file called Gaming Performance Registry. Double-click it, confirm the user account control prompt by clicking Yes, and then press OK. This registry tweak lays the groundwork for optimizing how your GPU behaves during gaming, enhancing both responsiveness and system stability. You'll also notice two more files, Low Medium Optimization and Medium High Optimization. These are designed based on your PC's performance level. If you have a budget or mid-range system, go with the Low Medium Optimization file. If your system is high-end or more powerful, use the Medium High Optimization file instead. Double-click the one that fits your setup, confirm the prompt with Yes, and press OK to apply the tweak. Finally, open the folder labeled GPU Thread Tweaks. Inside, you'll see specific registry files for different GPU brands, Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA. Choose the one that matches your graphics card. 
For example, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, open the NVIDIA thread optimization file. Double click it. Confirm the two prompts by selecting yes, and then press OK to finish. These thread level optimizations are designed to fine tune how your GPU handles multi-threaded tasks. This leads to fewer stutters, better frame stability, and improved performance in modern games that rely heavily on parallel processing. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now, open your graphics card control panel. This will be the NVIDIA Control Panel AMD Radeon software or Intel Graphics Command Center, depending on which GPU you have. Once inside, look for a section labeled something like 3D Settings, Gaming, or Performance Settings. The name might vary slightly based on your GPU brand, but it's the place where you control how your graphics card behaves during gaming. Scroll through the available options until you find Power Management Mode. Click the drop-down menu next to it and select Prefer Maximum Performance. This setting tells your GPU to run at its full clock speed during gaming instead of slowing down to save power during lighter tasks. It helps prevent sudden FPS drops and keeps your frame pacing consistent. Next, look for the option called Low Latency Mode or something similar depending on your GPU. Set this to Ultra. This forces your GPU to deliver frames to the screen as quickly as possible, which reduces input lag. It's especially useful in competitive or fast-paced games where reaction time is critical, giving you smoother, more responsive gameplay. Once both settings are configured, click Apply to save the changes. These simple tweaks ensure your GPU stays locked in performance mode while you're gaming, resulting in smoother visuals, reduced input lag, and stable frame rates, no matter what game you're playing. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy gaming.